Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about Joy-Con controllers for the Nintendo Switch. So with not only Joy-Cons being kind of unavailable, particularly the original ones, Joy-Con drift has been happening a lot, especially recently, and that could be due to time, depending on how long you've had your Switch. I know me and my sister and my nephew got our Switches pretty much early on. I have mine day one, shortly after it was my sister and my nephew. So we all have the original Switches. So it could be that with time, the Joy-Con drift has increased more and more and more noticeable when, during gameplay. I know these are my uh, nephew's original Joy-Con controllers. Now his drift is really, really, really bad. Um, I only just started noticing on my original Joy-Con controllers a slight drift and I couldn't, um, I couldn't really focus all that well, particularly on the left Joy-Con, but his are really bad and it could be because he's really rough on playing, especially Fortnite. And also my sister who hardly plays not really any heavy gameplay, she mainly plays Animal Crossing, has also started to notice a slight drift. So let's take a closer look at these different Joy-Cons. Hopefully if you do have Drift and you're trying to hold out on whether sending it your Joy-Cons to Nintendo to fix it, which will take, I think, months at this point because they're so backed up, um, or B, you want just different alternative Joy-Cons just to kind of switch it up, we we will be showing, um, we'll be showing about two different Joy-Con alternatives and they're not that expensive. I think they're both under 50 bucks, if I remember correctly. At the very most, they are less than 60 bucks. So let's take a closer look. Now first up, if you're lucky enough not to have the whole Joy-Con drift issue and you're just looking for a more comfortable way to play without purchasing a whole nother set of controllers, um, I highly suggest this gaming case from Skull & Co. It's called a grip case. It is dockable. Now I'll put dockable in quotations because a lot of people have noticed that they're actual dock is a slightly different. I don't know how manufacturing wise they've noticed that there is a slight difference. So if you do have a tighter fit, I suggest taking this off if you do play um, docked mode. I bought this specifically for handheld gaming play um, because with more and more time that I play Animal Crossing, I've noticed that my hands get really sore. Now these do offer three different sizes as far as the level of comfort. This is the medium or trigger sized. So as you can see here, it kind of gives like a trigger feeling towards the back. So it's a perfect spot for, you know, to rest a couple fingers. You still have access to these. Now I won't say this is absolutely perfect. I'm not the biggest fan of these top buttons because they're kind of plasticky and they don't feel, they just don't feel great. They don't feel uh, high, super high quality. But as far as the purpose and for the price, all around overall, I will give this a thumbs up and I will recommend this case, especially if you're a handheld, you know, player and you don't want to purchase new Joy-Cons, you just kind of want to keep your the original Joy-Cons. All right, so the first set of Joy-Con controllers alternatives are these Hori Nintendo Switch Split Pad Pro. Now these are the Damien and X Machina edition, I don't know, ergonomic controller for handheld mode. Now the only downside I will say, well I guess two, is that these won't work unless if they're attached to the Switch. So if you play dock mode and you kind of want to play these like this, it's going to be a no-go. They're not, I guess, like Bluetooth or whatever it needs to be in order to play like this. It has to be attached to the actual Switch. Now, of course, one of the coolest things about this is not only is the like you know the layout and the feel of it it feels really really good especially if you're a big gamer i did buy these for my nephew um as he plays fortnite handheld a lot of the time so i thought these would be great for him uh obviously one of the coolest features are these trigger programmable buttons in the back both sides have it so you can um assign on the controller right here you have an assign button and you'll be able to assign like x to this one back here whatever you guys want depending on the game that you're playing i think another thing to note is that i wish these were a little bit heavier they are pretty cheap it seems really really hollow on the inside so they're super light and so i guess take that with a grain of salt if you like a light feeling controller then maybe these are for you. These are currently running at $49.99, so right under that $50 mark, but it feels really good. I think it's great for hardcore gamers or Fortnite players. 
and they look pretty cool. I like them. And another really cool choice, especially for coming from the GameCube world, are gonna be these Kenvoka or Kenvo Kenvoka Joy-Con replacements for the Nintendo Switch. So you'll have some sort of an adjustment as far as the keypad layout. But other than that, it offers a really cool ergonomic design at the back. Just, just enough, subtle enough for it to make it noticeably different and more comfortable during your gameplay. This also is pretty light and feels pretty hollow on the inside, but it's a lot heavier, more sturdier feeling than the Hori ones, but lighter than the original Joy-Cons. So these fit pretty much right in the middle. These are going for $47.99, and you can also play these, um, you know, while your Switch is docked, or if you have this on a stand and you play this, you know, separately. As you guys can see already, the colors, they're, they're trying to connect to a Switch. Very easy to connect. They pretty much work exactly like a Joy-Con. You just slide them on and they'll be paired to the whatever Switch that you want to play to. So these are kind of great alternatives, two alternatives that I know I can trust and recommend to you guys, especially these. I really wanted to try these out for a bit because I had never heard of the company Kenovka, Kenovka, however you pronounce it. And there weren't really that many reviews that I could search up. I think like on Amazon, it only has 54 uh, reviews on it and it barely has three and a half stars. Um, so as coming from, these are my sisters and these are my nephews. So feedback from my sister is again, I think the biggest thing is a learning curve on the button layout. Now going to these, now these I have seen several reviews um before purchasing and it's a company that a lot of us know especially if you're a nintendo fan for several years now hori does make really great accessories for the nintendo switch since day one these are almost at five stars on amazon with over 2,000, almost 3,000 reviews on it so again i think the biggest takeaway is that they're really light cheap feeling but they feel great and they have two programmable buttons at the bottom if you guys have any questions about these controllers or have other suggestions for other ones that maybe I might have missed or some, maybe I can check out on Amazon, comment down below. Like this video if you liked it and I will see you guys on the next one.